I am ready for some chicken and waffles. We're, we're trying out something different. We, we uh, passed by this place a couple times and we decided we're going to give it a shot this morning. Something different. We're from the south. This is not different. This is what we eat. Well, we don't have chicken and waffle places. That is true. Not chicken and waffle. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> so we're doing that. Then we're heading over to meet some friends over at the Disneyland parks. And then we got to come back and pack up all our stuff. Yes. To head to the airport. Yes. And go home. On the red eye. I know. 11 p.m. our flight leaves. Actually, 11:01 our flight leaves. And then, uh, so then one thing is we get home to Orlando tomorrow at 7 a.m. They all get to go home and go to sleep. I have to go to work. <laughs> I have to go to Universal all day long. Which is not kind of weird to say. I have to go to work. I'm going to Universal all day long. <laughs> but that is. We're gonna be doing it on no sleep. I know, that's gonna be hard. So I'm hoping during the red eye I can actually sleep and I'm not gonna have little people pulling on me the whole time. Something I carried with me every day at VidCon this year was my new Trent phone charger. It charges my phone four times to 100% from 0%. It has been invaluable. I've used it every day. Your phone dies super fast when you're at the conference. I will definitely be using this next week when we are at Affiliate Summit also. So. That is an indispensable tool if you are going to conferences or traveling for that matter because we use them in the parks all the time. Alright, I didn't get chicken and waffles, but I got three chicken wings, collard greens, mommy got the biscuits and gravy, and there's the waffles. the whole entire time that we stayed off-site of Disney property just because it's so easy. Tim has the app on his phone and he literally just requests a car wherever you are right from his app. We used it when we were in New York not too long ago. It is fantastic. So if you're traveling, check and see if Uber is around you guys and uh, use it. Who, who is this? Hunter got an autograph. From Rayo H.J. Audrey, I think. You're not even sure who it is and you're all excited. I'm, you I know she is I just forgot that the two letters is it a youtuber yes okay, okay so apparently Hunter reviews, met somebody right? that she knows she has blue hair on her tips of her hair. oh There's yeah blue hair on the tips of her hair blue, blue tips blue tipped hair yes. so yeah I guess Hunter met somebody so, who's on YouTube Hunter wanted to see her but doesn't know her channel name I think she's part of her. Hunter is getting ready to meet her friend who lives out here. She met this friend at the Adventures by Disney New York City that they went on last month. And what's her name? Anna Sophia. Anna Sophia. So we're meeting Anna Sophia. And they just call her Anna apparently. But Hunter apparently calls her Anna Sophia. So you, you figure that out. We just call her Anna. Just call her Anna. Because I want to tell you. Anna, Anna Sophia, Jennifer, whatever works for you. We're going to meet her and spend a little time in the parks with them. The kids are ready to earn some badges. <laughs> Kelly's gonna go for it. Be a storm trooper, storm jumper. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, and then he's back again. <laughs> oh! Woohoo! Oh, did you guys race? Who won? I think Anna definitely won. <laughs> guide Karen and congratulations on doing such a fantastic job out there on the trail today. Let me hear you make some noise. Hey, Did you know that the part is moving? Russell, why don't you just use your compass to find your way here? My compass fell into a creek. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you've got your backup compass. Got two. Uh, that one got kicked off a cliff. <laughs> Well, that's all right. Uh, Russell, we've got a bunch of clever and resourceful wilderness explorers right here, so I'm sure we could put our heads together and figure out a way to get you over here. Hang in there, buddy. If we all make a loud noise, too, maybe he can use sound to guide him here. And we just use our wilderness explorer call, so let's try that. All right, everyone, thumbs together, super loud. Here we go. If you need help, you can always count on your fellow wilderness explorers. 
Well, Russell, now that you're here, I think it's time for all of these outstanding individuals to officially graduate to Senior Wilderness Explorers. What do you think? All right. Right here, and now everybody's hungry, so we're gonna go get pizza! Pizza! So this is where we're going to lunch, boardwalk pizza and pasta. So you just come over here and grab a slice of pizza. Waters or desserts or uncrustables. Or if you want salads, which is really convenient, just go grab stuff. So how's your day, kid? Awesome. We spend like two hours at the um, wilderness explorer. Yeah, that was kinda awesome. We found yeah, shade fun. and talked and you guys ran around and went crazy. We did that one last time we were here and I don't think I'll ever be able to get Tim on it again. Watch as it turns. Some of the wheels, or I don't know, carts, I guess you said, can slide to one side or the other. Do you see that? Isn't that craziness? Tim does not like that. I don't think we'll be able to get him on that ever again. And then goes California Screaming. Love this boardwalk area at California Adventure. It's so awesome. All right, with the last ride of the day, and we're gonna get wet or soaked. Are you ready to get wet or soaked? You make, you will get wet. Make it Are those the rules stipulation? You make it wet or you make it soaked? But look at the wait time. 95 minutes. We did get here maybe around 12 noon and our fast pass return time is 3 o'clock. But look at that. 95 minute wait. That is craziness. Can you climb through there? You better watch out. He may um He pooped on you. Yeah, I was gonna say that. You gotta watch out for that. One time um at the 4th of July party, um one of our, the person's house, I was playing with her and she had a rat, uh, mouse or a rat, I don't know, but she let me hold it and it pooped on me. Oh my gosh. I yeah. washed my hands. So. Oh, I'm glad you did. did. <laughs> yeah, rats tend to do that. And birds, and hamsters. It was like little tiny brown. And sometimes brown. dogs and cats. It was like a little tiny brown thing and I was like, what is that? <laughs> You've never seen rat poo? <laughs> well, now oh my you gosh, it's poo. Congratulations. You may get wet, you may get soaked. Something tells me I'm gonna get soaked. And everyone else is just gonna get a little wet. My favorite part, I know Tim said this in the video yesterday, but my favorite part is the bear in the background. That is so cool. This is cool too. I love how the whole thing just moves. You just step out on it and it moves. Alright, that's gonna be confusing. No walking on it backwards. Yeah, I know. That feels good, doesn't it? A little breeze and then jump right in. No, I'm sure they won't get mad if I don't walk on and jump in. No. I can't do it. be like out of the park now. You be on the pirate? Yes, yes. You get off? Dry. I'm not completely dry. Dry. <laughs> dry. You should be before and after. Yeah. Or me? I'm soaked. What do we do after uh, we get completely soaked? We go get ice cream, of course. And scoop. Here comes ours. Yay! Oh, Kelly, yours looks awesome. What'd you say? Thank you. Oh my God. All right. And Hunter got a float. Hunter sad. The fun is over. <laughs> she had a great time with her friends and it was fun to catch up with everybody. And uh, But it's time, we have to get back to the hotel, get packed up, and then catch a flight back to Orlando. So we're waiting for our little toy car. We ordered a Uber and uh, Tim said it's a super small little toy car. So let's go on a ride on a little toy car. We are waiting for our shuttle to head back to LAX to head home to Orlando. And as we're waiting for the shuttle, we noticed all these birds kind of like <laughs> hanging out up there. But if you can see, it has these little cross things that are technically supposed to prevent the birds from going up there. So obviously that's working really, really well. <laughs>
guys, we are on our way home, picking up our flight at LAX right now, and gonna get home in Orlando around seven in the morning. So we're gonna be sleeping from now on. So just wanna say good night. See you all tomorrow. Thanks for liking, comment, and subscribing. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.